<laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mary's Madness. Today, I have my homegirl, Lee Red, and here she's going to be telling us about her lovely piercings. So, how excited are you to be here on the show today? I'm actually very excited to be here with you today. Thank you for having me. And so, I understand you're a person who's very passionate about getting pierced. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. How many piercings do you have on your body right now? Um, currently, I have four, but in total, like, all at one point in time, I had 12. Oh, wow. That's, that's yeah. a lot. So, um, what shapes were they? What, what do they look like mostly? Um, most of my piercings, I actually like all of my piercings to match. So, um, usually when I all have when I have them all in, I get barbells. So they're just regular silver barbells, and I want them all to match. If I do any type of um, designs, it'll be like maybe like a little diamond stud or something like that. Nothing too extravagant. Are any of them painful now that you have them? Um, since I've had them, no. They my. Hmm. Well, my pain tolerance is a little bit high, so when I first actually get them done, they're not too bad, but um, none of them hurt after maybe about two weeks of having them. And what, what part of your body would you say is the most painful for people um, to normally get pierced? For, well, for me, I can't speak for anyone, anyone else except for mm -hmm. myself, but for me, my navel was a little painful mm -hmm. just the second time I got it done because I had to get it re-pierced and I had scar tissue. Oh. Um, and in addition to that piercing, my earlobes, those hurt. Oh, ow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty unexpected because, yeah. you know, a lot of people get their ears pierced, mm -hmm. like, when they're very little and all that. Yeah, I, sure I did have. get them when I was younger, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that was, that was I was first. four. Um, well, I had to get those re-pierced. So I was four when I got them, again, when I remember, but I was a baby when I initially had got them. So uh, where did you get them, that first piercing done, by I the way? got them done at J.C. Penney's, um, the department, the jewelry department. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did, I, See, I had no idea that they did piercing, piercings there. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's pretty cool to I hear. I know they used to. I'm not sure if they still do, but I know they used to. Did you, tell me about the time when you got your first body piercing. Mm -hmm. Did you, how was that? Like, what, what was oh. it? Where'd you get it? I, well, I went to, I went to um, a guy's house to get my navel pierced, actually. I had to sneak away from my uh, study hall when I was doing sports in high school because my mother told me that I was not allowed to get it. Oh. So I did initially ask her if I could get it, but since she said no, I snuck out and I got it because I'm me. <laughs> so <laughs> I snuck away from um, my study hall, so I had a friend bring me, and it was a group of us on the team who all wanted to get it done. So we went and got it done. It was about three of us. And so I had got it done, and it was fine. It came out great, actually. But the next day, my mom actually found out about it at oh. the track meet. Yeah. So what happened was I was fixing my leggings, and I was trying to pull them up, and my shirt came up. So she saw the piercing, and she was like, what is that? And all the parents were around, and my track teammates were around and everything. So I was just like, Mom, it's just a clip-in. It's not even real. So she was like, no, I saw it go through. So I was like, Mom, it went so quick, you didn't even see it. And so she was like, well, show me again. So I showed her, and she started moving it. I'm like, ow, because I had just got it done. So oh. um, she was just like, this is real, Leah. But she was so composed. And I thought it was because we were in front of everybody, and she wasn't going to like, you know, embarrass me in front of my friends and my mm -hmm. um, teammates and stuff like that. So, but when we got home, she was fine. She just didn't like the fact that I actually snuck out and did it behind her back, especially after she already told me that I couldn't get it done. But she was fine from then on, and from then on, I was ever I was able to pierce really whatever I wanted. She mm -hmm. wasn't accepting to it really, but she knew I was going to get it regardless. So she just went ahead and said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, so I guess that's common with parents being unhappy about their kids doing those types of things. Um, not Maybe. not really. Like some of my friends' parents were like. They were, they were easy, like they could just go to them and they'd be like, yes, but my parents are actually like super religious, so they just were like, mm -hmm. no, you can't modify your body, we don't want you to do that, you're perfect the way you are, but I like piercings and mm -hmm. I like body art, so I wanted to, but I would get them in places where people couldn't see or mm -hmm. anything like that, just because that's me, and I, for, in terms of like, you know, getting a job and um, just being professional, I didn't want my piercings to show too much, so that's why I do have hidden piercings, and you couldn't even tell right now if I had all 12 of my <laughs> yeah. piercings in, so that's what I like about my piercings. And would you say, and so you'd say that's a form of self-expression, right? That's yeah. A way to express your individuality? Um, in some sense, yeah. I personally like my piercings just because of how they look, but I guess it is a form of expressing expressing yourself. Yeah. And what advice would you give to maybe um, you know older teens and young adults out there who probably have 
live in a strict household and their parents would not be okay with them getting piercings. What would you, what advice would you give them? <laughs> um, advice I would give them, personally I would tell them, you know, just be honest with your parent, explain, explain why you want to get the piercing, what it means to you, and when all else fails, just sneak out and get it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> hey, that's, sometimes it's what you got to do. It is. <laughs> and, and did anybody in your life influence you to get any of these um, body piercings? Any of the piercings that I have, uh, none, of, none of them actually were influenced by anyone except for the one time I did sneak out and get my belly button ring. Um, one of the other girls, uh, one of the older girls on my team actually had it done. I was a freshman then. Yeah, I was 13. I was a freshman then and one of the seniors had it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting that. So <laughs> <laughs> she influenced my very first body piercing. That's, pr that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, people are a big influence in general. Mm -hmm. And so would you, so what, do you, would you ever, ever recommend getting piercings to anybody else? Would you yeah, ever? of course. I mean, I have like, well, I've had 13, so of course I would recommend <laughs> them. Yeah. Yeah. And do you, do you actually, do you regret any of, any of the piercings you got? Um, yeah, I actually do regret getting my hips done. I regret getting my hips done because they are surface bar piercings and they do reject easily. Ooh. Mines didn't reject, but um, I've seen them reject on people and they leave pretty bad scars. But since mines didn't reject, I mean, I got lucky. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's one I do actually regret. So are you going to, so even though you've, you've had success overall with them, mm -hmm. what, are you planning on getting more piercings in the future? Um, Probably not. I may get some things re-pierced because I did take some things out, some clothes, but other than that, no. I don't see myself getting any other piercings. Maybe a few in my ears, but I'm not a fan of ear piercings simply because I just don't like too much in the ears, too much showing. It's just, to me, like I said earlier, not professional, so mm -hmm. not too many more. So 